And then we had uh, this segment. Cowboy Brock comes down to the ring. He did not cut a good promo. And uh, he he's, says, he's, allowed, he's allowed to not cut good promos. He says, let's cut the crap. I've been here too long. He goes, if you want to come out here and tell me otherwise, come out here and shake my hand and I'll see you Saturday. <clears throat> but if you don't come out here and shake my hand, I'll see you Saturday. I was like, what? So Cody comes out, and uh, fans are singing his song, and he gets in the ring, and he gives the handshake, and Brock shakes his hand. And then Brock shoulder checks him. He goes to leave the ring. And uh, as Brock is outside the ring, his back is to the ring, Cody (laughs) goes for the dive. (coughs) I still am not recovered from this illness. Cody goes for the dive. He uh, As he's in midair, Brock turns around. He hits Brock. He he goes after him, and man, Brock just beat the hell out of this guy. He beats the hell out of him. They he play his music. Week. He starts going to the back. Then he comes back and decides, I want to beat this guy more. He beats him a second time. He starts going to the back. They play his music. Then he decides, I'm going to go back a third time. He beats him a third time, gives him an F5 in the ring. Brock's not even sweating. He tips his cowboy hat to the guy. He leaves. I was flabbergasted watching this segment right here. Just flabbergasted. I know, especially after last week. Oh my God! Like well, the I... idea is, the idea is, I'm supposed to go into the uh, show more interested in this match than I was, you know, before Raw, and uh, this did not do that. I was like, man, they just they they killed Cody dead. They just made him look like just like a geek. He couldn't do anything with this guy. He started the fight from behind and got killed three straight times and left for dead with an F5 to a guy that didn't even take his outfit off. He's got his hat on. I was like, God, that's – and, you know, Cody's going to beat him on Saturday. Yeah, Cody's sure going to beat him on the, Saturday. Uh, I think that that's the idea is that, that they give fans credit or that the fans – you know, one of the things is the fans, um, you know, they – they kind of figure out that, like, because of the surprise booking that that, uh, that that has been going on for all these years, that the way to book is to just destroy the babyface over and over and over again so people know that the babyface is going to win as opposed to the other way around. I don't know, man. I thought this segment was just baffling. It was a little we too had, much. Uh... I felt it was a little too much. Because if they, you know, again, like I liked it last week, what they did last week, you know, doing the thing in front of the mother and everything like that. But I did figure, you know, at at, at some point, and I guess you know, Cody needs to get his revenge, and Saturday's probably that point. But. I didn't think they necessarily needed to destroy him again either. No, they didn't need this. Like, last week was a perfectly fine go-home heat angle. You beat the guy up in front of his mother. Is he gonna? Is his arm broken? Is it not? I mean, this week you could have just done a nice, long video package, show all the matches they've had together, put something together like you did with Ronda and Shayna, but uh, they decided well, to just I don't beat think his ass want, I don't think you want to do two of those on the sh- on a show. I think well, I'm just they... saying, like a nice video package. That you have to, you could absolutely do a story. nice video package, but I, I do think I do think that they needed some a verbal confrontation. Uh, but you know, I that don't know. wasn't this. No, I know. I I mean, I, I I think that that a verbal confrontation probably would have been, uh, you know, with Cody doing good promo, I think would have probably been better than than this because this is just repeated last week. Becky came out, and she said she turned in a rematch against Trish. She couldn't imagine a better place to do it than tonight in Houston. Trish comes out, and she says, you know, I was thinking about doing the match here and now, but nah, you don't tell me when we want to fight. I'll tell you when we're going to fight. And so Adam Pierce comes out, and he says, you know what? I heard the stip. Zoe beat you last week, and uh, or you beat Zoe last week. And so this match is going to happen, and it's going to happen tonight. So get a referee down here right now. So Trish has to get in the ring. Becky attacks her immediately. Zoe immediately hits the ring for the DQ. This match went like three seconds between One, between two seconds. two seconds. Two seconds. Yep. And then the heels are double teaming Becky afterwards. She made her own comeback. She beat up both women. And I'm sitting there watching this going. Well, well Tr- Trish Pierce was it. just out here. Like, where is this guy? This is this is stupid. Well, Tr- but Tr- after the break, Tr- Tr- Trish came back and hit her with a chair. Uh, yeah. I guess yeah. he did that there at the very end. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then so after no, commercial, no, no, they, they, they got they got the better. They got you know Trish got the better of her again. 
So they, uh, they do the segment afterwards, and Pierce meets with him, and he says, that's totally unacceptable. And he says, you know, I'm feeling generous. I'll give you time to prepare, and it'll be on your home turf, which it's like, why are you giving her all this after what we just saw? But in two weeks in Winnipeg, it is Becky with Zoe banned from ringside, Becky and Trish. So that's the match. Hopefully she's healed up by then. We had uh, main event, Sammy and Seth versus Dom and Priest. And uh, this match was as good as you would expect. I thought, it was, and, real, I thought uh, it was really good. A lot of chaos, but really good. There was so much stuff going on at the end of this match. Essentially, what happened was, uh, so they're doing the match. Rollins makes a tag, three straight topes, ends up back in the ring. He avoids South of Heaven, sets up for the stomp. Rhea takes the ref. Dom lays out Seth. Sammy goes after Dom. Rhea starts screaming at him. So Finn hits the running drop kick on him into the barricade. Priest hits Seth with the razor's edge, notices the briefcase, tells Finn Balor to get the briefcase is going to cash in. Finn's hesitating, but he does give him the briefcase, but by then it's too late, and Seth super kicks the briefcase into his face. Finn then goes after Seth. Sammy boots him off the apron. Seth hits Priest with the stomp and pins him. Mm-hmm. That was a lot of stuff that happened there. Yeah. But uh, something, something it all tied happened. together, and the fans were into it. So something, hap- something happened with that stomp because, uh, man, Priest was he was bleeding bad. Yeah. I still am an advocate of Finn winning this title on, on Saturday. Well, I, am, I am, too. I think it opens I up a lot of possibilities. I think the idea of Finn as champion and, and Priest with the briefcase, I think it's a great dynamic to have. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in favor of it, this too. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh-oh. What are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show. Oh no. Dom, Oreo. hit that music, brother. How oh, the hell with it? You know what? It's Monday, it's dance party. <laughs> When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.